always tried to get Aliona to take her sister along to classmates' apartments. But these little misdeeds were exactly why she would not. Instead, they had spent their summer vacation alone with each other. Aliona had taught Sophia how to do a back walkover in the damp parking lot behind their building. In July, they took the bus 40 minutes to the municipal zoo, where they fed candy through the cage to a greedy black goat. Its slitted pupils swiveled in its head. Later that afternoon, Aliona pushed an unwrapped milk caramel through a chain link fence to a lynx, which hissed at the sisters until they backed away. The caramel sat on the cement floor. So much for the zoo. When Aliona and Sophia's mother left them money in the mornings before work, the sisters went to the cinema and split a banana and chocolate crepe afterward at the cafe on its second floor. Most days, though, they hung around the city, watching rain clouds gather and the sunlight stretch out. Their faces tanned gradually. They took walks or rode their bikes or came here. While Sophia balanced, Aliona looked along the shore. A man was picking his way over the rocks. Someone's coming, Aliona said. Her sister splashed one leg down and lifted the other. Sophia might not care who saw her act like an idiot, but Aliona, her forced companion, did. Stop, Aliona said, more loudly, heating up in her mouth. Stop. Sophia stopped. Down the line of the water, the man was gone. He must have found some clean place to sit. All the frustration that had been rising inside Aliona seeped out like a bath when the drain was unplugged. I'm bored, said Sophia. Aliona lay back. The rock was hard on her shoulders, cold on her head. Come here, she said. And Sophia stepped out of the bay, picked her way over, and squirmed next to Aliona. The smallest stones crunched together. The breeze had left Sophia's body as cool as the ground. Want me to tell you a story? Aliona asked. Yes. Aliona checked her phone. They had to be home in time for dinner, but it wasn't even four o'clock. Do you know about the town that washed away? No. For someone who never obeyed, Sophia could be very attentive. Her chin lifted and her mouth pinched shut in concentration. Aliona pointed down the shore at the most distant cliffs. To the girl's right was the city center, from where they had walked this afternoon. To the left, marking the mouth of the bay, were those black hulks. It used to be there. In Zavoika? Past Zavoika. They sat under the peak of St. Nicholas Hill. If they had kept walking along the shoreline today, they would have seen the stony side of the hill eventually lower, exposing the stacked squares of a neighborhood overhead. Five-story Soviet apartment buildings covered in patchwork concrete. The wooden frames of collapsed houses. A mirrored high-rise, pink and yellow, with a banner advertising business space for rent. Savoyka was kilometers past all that, making it the last district of their city, Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky, the last bit of land before sea. It was at the edge of the cliff where the ocean meets the bay. Was it a big town? It was like a settlement, like a village, just 50 wooden houses filled with soldiers, wives, and babies. This was years ago, after the Great Patriotic War. Sophia thought about it. Was there a school? Yes, a market, a pharmacy, everything, a post office. Aliona pictured it, stacked logs, carved window frames, doors painted turquoise. It looked like a fairy tale. And there was a flagpole. 
Hello. Today, I'm going to show you how to get this audiobook for free in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll guide you step by step. It's really simple and fast. In just a few minutes, you'll be able to listen to your audiobook for free. So, let's get started. Here are the steps you need to follow. Click on the link below the video to access the audiobook page. I want to emphasize that the method I'm showing you works with any book from the Amazon audiobook catalog offered by Audible. Make sure the option Free with Trial is displayed on the page. Then, click on the Try Audible button. You will be redirected to the Amazon website. If you already have an Amazon account, log in. Otherwise, you can easily create an account. Now, if you don't have an Amazon account, Here's how to create one. Click on the Create Your Amazon Account button at the bottom of the page. Fill in the fields of the form with your first name, last name, mobile phone number or email address, and password. Then click Continue to validate. You will receive a verification code at the email address you provided. Log in to that email account, copy the verification code, and paste it into the box requested by Amazon. Next, enter your phone number to receive a verification code via SMS. Insert this code into the box presented by Amazon and click the Create Your Amazon Account button. On the next page, Amazon will ask you to enter your credit card number. Don't worry, it won't be charged because it's the free trial period. If you decide to continue your subscription, you will be charged $14.95 per month after the free trial period. Click on Add Your Card. After adding your credit card, you will be redirected to this page asking for your personal information, such as first name, address, email, etc. Then click the Use This Address button. Once you have entered all the information requested by Amazon, you will finally arrive at this page. You will see that the book you have chosen is displayed, and all you have to do now is confirm it to listen to your audiobook. As you can see, the amount to be paid is $0. This first audiobook is completely free. Now click on the Try for Free button. Now your Audible account is created and you have access to your free audiobook. You can listen to the audiobook you chose directly on this Amazon page or on the Audible website. The most recent had been two years previously. I'd actually survived six months. I want to remind you once again that the method I've shown you here works with any book from the Amazon catalog audiobooks offered by Audible. Now, all you need to do is go to the Audible website, use your Amazon information to log into your Audible account, email address and password, and once you're logged in, click on the library menu. There you will find your free book, and all you have to do is click listen now to start listening. I'm not ashamed to admit that I cried like a baby. You also have the option to download the Audible app which will make it easier and faster to listen to the audiobooks in your library. From this point on, you have two choices. The first choice is to keep your Audible subscription and agree to be charged $14.95 per month. This will give you a monthly credit that you can use to listen to or download any audiobook of your choice, regardless of its price. If you want to enjoy one audiobook per month regardless of its price, simply make use of your subscription. The second choice is to cancel your Audible account before the end of the 30-day period. This way, you won't be charged $14.95, and you can keep access to your free audiobook indefinitely. To cancel your account, go to your Audible account, hover over the menu where your first name is displayed, and click on the Account Details link. On the page that appears, click on the Cancel Membership link. Scroll down the page, then click on Continue to Cancel on the next page. Audible will ask you for the reason for your departure. You can provide the reason of your choice, and then at the bottom of the page, click the Continue Canceling button. In this step, Audible will make a final attempt to keep you as a customer by offering you several deals that are truly interesting for audiobook enthusiasts. You can choose one of these offers if you wish to continue the adventure with Audible. Otherwise, click on Confirm Cancellation. There you go. Your Audible subscription is cancelled, 
and you still have your free audiobook in your library without paying anything. Your credit card has not been charged. Take a look. Together, we will verify if the offered book is still available after canceling the subscription. To do this, click on the Library menu. I confirm that the book is still here, available in your account. You can listen to it whenever you want by clicking the Listen Now button and listen to it as many times as you wish. I was crying because I knew that I was condemned to be a smoker for life. Now, if you want to enjoy a free book and listen to it at any time, click on the link below this video and follow the steps I just described. Thanks to this, you can listen to your book for free anytime and as many times as you want in your Audible account.